In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the chord of contact uh, for an ellipse or a hyper hyperbola. So the, the the thing that I've drawn over here is just in the case of an ellipse, right? So in the case of the ellipse, I have x squared on a squared plus y squared on b squared is equal to 1. Um, and then for, for the case of a hyperbola, the only difference is that the plus changes to a minus. Okay, but I'll be dealing with that later. Now, this is actually following on from one of my previous videos, and in that video, I showed you how to get the equation of a tangent. Okay, so suppose suppose for now that um, I have an external point called A, and it's like x0, y0, and from that, I draw two tangents to a ellipse, as you can, right? So you, you can draw two ellipses. Uh, now, this is just coincidence as to the way that I drew it, that went through this point, it doesn't go through. It doesn't go through the x-axis and the y-axis. Uh, as in, I mean, it doesn't meet at that point. It's just slightly off. Okay, it's just I like, can't draw it any better. Um, anyway, let's call those two points P and call it x1, y1, and Q, x2, y2. Okay, now now that I have this uh, all the, all that information, how do I get the equation of the chord of contact? The chord of contact is the line between x2, y2 and x1, y1. Okay, so I, I really don't care about the just joining up the line P, P and Q. What I really want is given the external point A, how do I get the chord of contact? So if I draw two tangents, what's a chord of contact? So that's what a chord of contact is. Um, so to do this, uh, I'm going to I'm going to rewrite the equation of a tangent that I got from the previous the previous uh, the video about tangents. So just recapping, I will I read that I end up getting x x one on a squared plus y y one on b squared equals one is the equation of a tangent. Okay. Uh, so, but that's a tangent at at point p. In the same way. At Q, I will end up getting x x two on a squared plus y y two on b squared is equal to one, and this this at Q. So how do I use these two equations to figure out the equation of a uh, chord of contact? Now you need to remember that the the chord of contact it satisfies x zero y zero. Sorry, what I meant to say was not, not the chord of contact, the tangents in themselves, because they go through the point x0, y0, both of them satisfied, so I can write x0, y0 over here, and x0, y0 over there as well, because they both satisfied that point. Now, this is really the tricky part that you really need to get your head around. So if you look at this, the only thing that's, that's changing from this equation to the second one, the, from P to Q, is x1 changes into x2, and y1 changes into y2. Okay, but but uh, um, also for the chord of contact, x1, y1, and x2, y2 satisfy this equation. So basically, I need to be able to plug in x1, y1, and or x2 and y2, and be able to satisfy either of these two things. So because x1 and x2 is the only thing that's changing over here, I can replace that as being the variable and say that's going to be x0, x on a squared. And with the same idea, this is going to be y0, y on b squared is equal to 1. Okay, so I use the fact that this is the only thing that's changing. y0 changes into y2, so that must be your variable. And the same way over here, these two are, are your variables. So in that sense, this is going to be the equation of chord of contact. Okay, so if I was to plug in x1 and y1, so this is going in the reverse way, if I plug in x1 and y1, which happens to satisfy um, the chord of contact as well as the tangent, I will end up getting x1, y1 over here, and that is that is going to be the first one, the first equation, right? So it's going to be the equation P. If I sub in x2, y2, that's going to be equation Q. But anyway, as far as getting the chord of contact goes, this is the chord of contact. 
right? So this is all you really need to do to prove that this is called a contact. You don't need to do any more anything more complicated. Just writing one line going uh, x0, uh, sorry, x1 changes in x2 and y, oops, y1 changes in y2. Therefore, this is the equation of the quarter contact. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know uh, and I will get back to you. But thanks for watching.